Tasha and today I am wanting to take a little bit of time as we are traveling into 2024. We're well into it now at this point. We're getting ready to head into Valentine's Day, right? Um, but I wanted to jump on really quick and I wanted to share some information that I thought was really important to anyone that is owning a home, thinking of buying a home, know someone that owns a home. There's some vital information that you should be aware of that as you're going into the new year that you prepare yourselves to be in the best position. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to jump on and I wanted to share some information that you should really be looking at as you're starting into a new year and you should do this annually. So as I mentioned before, one of my previous videos, I am a local realtor here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And my daughter, Taylor, and I are actually a team. And so during our tenure of being agents in this uh, market, we've come across a lot of different information that we like to share with our clients. And so I have decided that um, having this YouTube channel would be a great opportunity for me to get more information out to people who may be interested. So with that being said, um, going into the new year, there are things that you should be looking at doing um, for your home. And it's going to be anything from maintenance. And we're going to be doing um, and utilizing this platform to bring in some of our strategic partners that we utilize, whether it be an inspector, or a plumber, an HVAC person, um, electricians, just to be able to share some information with you all that may be vital to you as a homeowner or for you as you prepare to get on the journey of being a homeowner. So one of the first things that I wanted to share is when you buy a house, you have um, mortgage insurance. First, you have mortgage. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna reach out to your mortgage company. You wanna ask if there are any changes that are happening. Understanding that when you buy a home, the great thing about it is that you're all excited. You get all this paperwork that we just kind of skim over. We don't necessarily read it all because we're so caught up in the moment. We're so excited, which you should be. However, there are some things that you need to understand. Taxes, for example, even though you may purchase a house and it be at a certain price point, if by chance the taxes in that area adjust, it also could adjust your mortgage. A lot of people don't know that. And so they come surprised at a new year when the taxes come out and the taxes from the previous year show that the taxes in the area rose, which could also inflate and adjust your mortgage. So you wanna reach out to your mortgage company. You wanna see if there's any adjustments that have been made um, that may affect your payment. What you don't wanna do is be shocked when something happened. And I can tell you that this is from experience. So in our previous home, that we did, a, once again, renovations to the house, made it look stellar, and guess what? They said, oh, that looks like it's worth more. And because of that, we're gonna give you a gift. <laughs> and that gift was more taxes. And so there are some opportunities that you can appeal your taxes, and you could reach out to your local office wherever you are, and they'll share some more information with you about that if you wanted to do that. Um, but just be aware that there's an opportunity for your mortgage payment to increase. Not rarely is it going to decrease, but it will increase. So that's something that you want to do. Another thing you want to do is you want to look at, please, please, if you do not have one, whether your house is paid for or you still have a mortgage on it, there is a, a platform that every homeowner should have. It's called a home warranty. When I tell you the benefit that a home warranty can do for you and your home and your pocket, it is astounding. So we are agents. And as I said before, with our clients, we always recommend, we recommend it to everyone, but we recommend it especially to our clients that they always get and maintain annually a home warranty. What does a home warranty do? A home warranty covers all the electrical, electrical, um, oh, I take that back, all the components of your house. I'm talking 
from HVAC, from your plumbing, from your washer and dryer, if you have a pool, all of those things have the ability to be covered by a home warranty. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that's just a scam. They're just collecting your money. Once again, if I am telling and sharing anything with you on this channel, it is because I understand and have experienced and utilized everything that I'm sharing with you. And I am a proponent of getting a home warranty. When I tell you it will save you thousands of dollars because we understand that everything happens for a reason. And even if you're buying new construction, everyone thinks that new construction is the safest bet to buy when it comes to buying a house. That would make sense because you figure everything's new, you know, it came from the store brand new, the builder put it in brand new. All of those things are man-made. They were physically touched and put together by someone. What if they were sleepy that day? What if they going through an emotional situation at home and they're not focused on fixing whatever they're doing to the best of their ability? There is always an opportunity for there to be a mishap. And we have to understand. So the best thing that you can do is think about it. In buying a property, the best thing you can do is to protect that investment. So in doing so, a home warranty will allow you to do that. Now, I'm gonna show you one that I utilize at my own home and I tell all of my clients about. And this is the one that if anyone has any questions, it literally shows you everything that it covers. So this is that plan and it gives you a breakdown of everything that it covers. This is so important for any homeowner to have because I can tell you at the worst of times is when something will happen, like example, at our previous house, we had purchased this house in February, by May, June, I, I believe, it had started to get that really, really hot. Up until that point, we really hadn't run the HVAC and the first week that it got hot outside and we flipped the switch, guess what didn't come on? The HVAC. So here we are thinking we've got this new house, everything's secure, we had done an inspection. However, you must understand that in the winter time, if you're getting up, purchasing a home, they won't test your HVAC because it could mess it up because it's too cold outside. So with that being said, we understood that. However, it had come on maybe a couple days before. And then my husband says, I don't think it's working the way that it should. And sure enough, that was the case. So because we had had our home warranty uh, for the time frame that they allow us to have it before we file a claim, because understand there are some situations where you have to have it for a certain amount of time. So we're now purchasing in February, but now we're in June. And so we are running our AC and thinking that it's working fine. And my husband questions it. And sure enough, I said, well, let's just call um, the home warranty and have them to come um, have someone, an uh, uh, independent contractor, come out and check it out. And so they did, and they said, no, I'm sorry to tell you, one unit is completely gone, and the other one has parts that are defective. What we do in that situation is we panic or we give praise <laughs> because panic means we don't have a home warranty, and now we're getting to go into the beginning of summer and we are without HVAC. Now, I don't know if you know what Georgia weather does, but she can be kind and then she can be mean. And so here in Georgia, it is unpredictable. We could have 97 degree weather and then the next day we could have 70. So you just don't know. So you don't want to play around with it. But because we had that home warranty plan, they sent an independent contractor out. They came out. They told us what was wrong with it. Of course, they have to order parts. So there is a little bit of time 
where you may have to wait a few days, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm willing to do because if I only have to pay my one, you know, deductible amount and wait a few days and get a unit repaired or replaced and it not cost me anything else than that, I can turn on a fan. How about you? So I'm telling you, with that situation, we had both units down. We only had two. And so we are waiting and they give us a call back and they let us know, okay, we found the parts. We're going to replace one unit completely because it had completely gone, gone away. Um, and then the other one had a part that needed to be repaired. And so we were able to get both of those done for that small amount of a deductible. Now, depending on the home warranty company that you choose, it could vary. It could be $50, it could be 100 I haven't necessarily heard of anything more than that, but there could be some options where people, the home warranty company will charge more. So, but for us, that was such a blessing because, you know, just buying the house, you know, you're trying to get it all situated and things of that nature. And the last thing you want to do is drop $8,000 on two units. Not fun. So a home warranty truly, truly, truly has great benefits. And if you have any questions, shoot me a DM and let me know. Ask me any questions and I'll share with you information about the one that I utilize and just give you some nuggets on what you should do. I'm telling you, even if, you know, because there's some situations where our parents, they have been at their houses for over 30 years and they don't have a home warranty. They just, you know, kind of get it fixed. When I tell you this could be the biggest blessing for them because it would allow them not to have to worry. So for any homeowner, I beg you and I plead with you that this is something that you need to have in your arsenal of protection for your investment. Another thing you need to talk, think about is your homeowner's insurance. You need to make sure that you're always staying on top of your homeowner's insurance and making sure that things are still going smooth. You need to be in contact with the person that gives you your homeowner's insurance. Home ownership is an amazing thing and it is full of joy and pride and all of those things, but it is a responsibility. And if you are a homeowner or you're thinking about becoming a homeowner, understanding that home ownership is one of the best investments that you could ever do not only for yourself, but for your family and your, your family in the future, because that is a piece of real estate that you could do so much with. And as you begin to pay down that payment and you begin to build that equity, then there are other options that you could utilize to even advance your, your lineage even more. So there's so much opportunity for you. Um, and then so, Keeping in mind when you're dealing with your, your, your insurance, your homeowner's insurance, you should be taking a recording of every room in your house. Now, why do I say that? The reason being is because we are in the world of technology, right? That means we've got computers, as I've got mine sitting here. My husband works from home. He's got computers over there on his desk. We've got all these large TVs. We've got the big systems. We've got sound systems. We've got all of this technology that we utilize on a day-to-day -day basis. Not only that, but all of your assets that are a part of your homeowner's insurance policy that you got when you purchase that house, you need to have a record of what those items are. So, suggestion would be take a quick moment, take your phone, and go through every room and record everything that is in your house. Why do you say that, Latasha? I say that because in the unfortunate situation that something happens and you have to utilize the insurance policy they are going to want to have a record of all of your assets. Now, when you got that policy, you just gave them a runoff list. Oh, we've got about this much. 
and you know assets and oh we've got about this much and oh we have this and we have that but they have no record for your own sake it is to your benefit to take your phone and go into each and every room and every closet and do a recording you don't have to go through every item in your drawers or your dressers or things of that nature but for the people that have fancy furs, well, guess what? You need to record those because they need to be able to see that those were some of the items that you had in that house to make sure that you're staying on top of what the value that you have requested in your insurance policy will cover. So insurance companies, sometimes they will tell you that, sometimes they won't. Sometimes when we're told that, it's been a couple of years, we don't remember. So as you change throughout the time, you want to just make sure that you take the time to do that um, and make sure that you, excuse me, I just got shocked. There are deer standing in my front yard, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I got a little distracted. Um, but back to what I was saying. So when we talk about um, doing the insurance policies that you have on your home, you want to make sure that you walk through the house, you take an account for all of the things that you have throughout your house because that could be up to your benefit if anything in the unfortunate situation were to happen that could cause you to put your utilizing um, your insurance policy in action. So keep in mind, take a, a tour of everything that's in your house. You want to capture those things um, in video and take pictures if you want to. So it's just always best. And then what you want to do is any of your insurance, your home warranty, your deeds, um, all of those things, you want to get a secure lockbox. Uh, you can get them from Walmart, but you want to get one that has a key and that is fire resistant that you can store all of your important documents. This is really, really important because in the time of stress of something happening, the last thing you want to do is realize that everything that you needed and had in place was not secured where it could be protected. Grab your lockbox. They range in prices. So you could grab one. You can have it stored in a private space where if anything was to happen, then you can quickly grab it and go. Um, and so just keep that in mind. It's always about taking some time to get some quick tips that are going to help you to make things more efficient for yourself, that are going to keep you on top of everything that you're doing. So as we go forward into 2024, I'm going to be sharing more nuggets of information that you can utilize as a homeowner that can help you to make sure that you're staying on top of all that you need to do in your home. I hope that you really like the content of this video. If you have any questions, please hit me in the DM. I'll be glad to answer. And if by chance you're not subscribed to this channel and you're interested in more of what we're going to be doing, it is going to be home decor, but it's going to be about lifestyle because lifestyle is really everyday living and it is compiled of a lot of different things. So as me um, being an agent, a realtor here in the Atlanta, Georgia area, I know the importance of sharing information to help homeowners or anyone that is thinking about homeowners to be able to have smart information that can make sure that they're on the right path. I hope that you enjoy this video. I've enjoyed spending time with you today and I look forward to seeing you in the month of February as we talk more about what we're going to be taking care of that month. Thank you so much for stopping by and I really appreciate you being here. In the meantime, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share this information. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.